I bring to you the cast nine round three four. We got Miss Tuesday night. Next up, we've got Lisa Wilcox. Cockroach, but I love her in just a ton of us. Brooke Beast. <laughs> Will of Sucks Face with Freddie, Miss Toy Nuker. <laughs> One of the two survivors. Members from uh, part three, Ken Sagos. <laughs> Next up, our other survivor, Rodney Eastman. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and now he's getting married for sure. Yeah. That's a four Well, I never friend. had a sister, so I figured just that's what happens. <laughs> 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 that got it rolling. Yeah. <laughs> More questions? <laughs> All right, thank you. Have a wonderful day. In the green. Uh, I have one for Dan. How was it uh, filming the motorcycle scene? It was, uh, it was awesome. It was, uh, I don't know, tons of makeup. We had, there was five, so Lisa was in it. We did like one week of where they do dialogue and because I didn't really have a lot of dialogue I was the first one to die which is usually how it goes and if you make it through and you're not the hero the hero you're definitely the first one to die and the next one. yeah oh yeah or, only if it's a Spielberg movie to I need to know King was back um, no I, yeah it was in that movie I did so much makeup like actual like makeup and I tell people all the time that we made that movie with crayons and paint rollers because there was no CGI or whatever. So Rick Baker and all those guys, man, all day long doing all this crazy stuff. The motorcycle itself was on this big platform, and so there were people with uh, air, like the kind you put in your car, and they would put it right on my face outside of the camera, so it was my face was getting like warbled from the camera. So, like I was going really fast, you know? But it was, it, anyhow, it, was, it took a lot of really clever stuff to make it look cool, man. So it was like eight hours of goofing around with a bunch of artists working on your arm or your face or whatever. And then when you have to do scenes like that, you, or when, even when she died at uh, four, you, you hear someone screaming all day long. Yeah. <laughs> and then, it's, just, it's bizarre. Eight hours of just acting like you're being screaming. tortured. I'm making cockroach noises. Yeah. <laughs> you're in the room next door, you're like, what is a cockroach sound like? Yeah. Yeah. Rep, what does a cockroach sound like? <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, there's an action figure. Sorry, I'm going to talk about myself. <laughs> but Dan... We'll be here all night. You really, Dan, you told me yesterday you were excited that you had an action figure made of yourself. Now I can play with myself. I was going to ask you to play with yourself. Way to throw it over, man. Way to throw it over. Thanks for the setup. Yeah, thanks for the setup. Yeah, thanks for the setup. How did you do that before? Yes, <laughs> 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 <Not too much. laughs> <laughs> all right. No, yeah, but there really is. Some guy made these custom action figures. They're pretty cool. So, they're awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Good question. Someone over here had a question. Yeah. Uh, I had a question for Toy. Uh, the question was, uh, in the scene when, when you had the asthma and you were, and you got the suit, do you, you don't have really asthma in real life, or that was just for the character? Or? You said you had a part time in and out. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I certainly didn't have asthma. And I actually didn't know anyone who had asthma. So, all of that, I didn't even do research. And I probably oh. should have. So, I uh, made it up. <laughs> and I was just like, I think this is how asthma works. It's funny you say that, though, because I was approached by an asthmatic child, and she told me very quickly that that was completely wrong and that oh, that is oh, 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 this is how it would occur and she went into the fullness and I said, damn, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was, uh, it was fun, but it was good stuff. And I think Lisa, yes. you helped me with my ass, right? You dropped my head and somehow I passed yeah, out. Yeah, I was trying to kill you. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and it really worked. Like, damn, damn, what's she doing? I made it help, help. damn it. <laughs> no, actually, my ex-husband, well, then husband, had oh. asthma. Oh. I guess. Yes. You. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So maybe that I was trying to share. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Something. Yeah. 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 Approaching asthma. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was a good time. Yeah. Right yeah. Asthma? Mm -hmm. ah. Still is? Okay. Still yeah. has it? Okay. Yeah. And he's still not dead? Oh, <laughs> It's a thin line. <laughs> we do have another one. Um, I was going to ask for Brooke. I know you answered this earlier, and I know a lot of people are asking it, but at the beginning, when you're all in the parking lot um, and meeting everyone, when you're eating and you have the cockroach, what is it yeah. that you are eating? I've never been asked this question before, and this this convention, <laughs> I've had this question so many times. It's an apricot. So I thought, like, that's pretty healthy. Dry, 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 d
stand out of the apricot because they kind of blend in color. Well, Don't you want to go have a dried apricot yeah. right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of orangey yeah, color. Exactly. Well, no, if it was a prune, you'd be like, well, that's going to be gross. Like, you would see it. You'd be like, no, you wouldn't have saw it. You wouldn't have <laughs> seen a cockroach on a prune. No, no it's blend in color. No. <laughs> like a family hall, or whatever they call it, something like that. <laughs> Next! <laughs> Go, Go back! Go for it. Okay, this is for uh, John Rose Bay Brick. Uh, I was just wondering, uh, Jim? there's a scene where you run down the hallway after, uh, after Chloe uh, gets killed, and you do this incredible run down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if that was your choice, or yeah. the director's choice, um, like how to make that look, because I love it. Okay. Well, first of all, I understand how you might not, you might just know me as the actor who played Rick. <laughs> because the press release that went out under my picture had Rodney Smith. <laughs> so ever since then, people have been getting me and Rodney confused. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> But in that, you did. It really came out like that. It really the did. Thing that they I'll give to like the New York Times and the press. <laughs> yeah. That is his name on his picture and didn't even have a brook in it at all. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, thanks guys. Yeah. So, but in, in answering your question, in answering your question, uh, none of my performance was suggested by the director. Okay. And uh, that was just the case. I ran every, like, that was, I was a super hyperactive kid, and I just ran every place pretty much until I was, like, 32. <laughs> so uh, that was just pretty much how I moved around. But, yeah, I've, I've looked at that since and was like, that's a little bit over the top. What's, what is, what's interesting though, uh, Toy brought our first, uh, our first call sheet from the first day, and everything at the high school, that high school, the opening with Brooke and Toy and Lisa and me, and, and Dan, and, and, yeah, we, we all show up, and the scene with Lisa and Tuesday smoking the cigarette, and that scene where after Toy gurney. bites it and the gurney and that whole thing, that was all shot on the first, I think the first day of yeah, uh, the shoot. Pretty much all, all my best stuff is the best stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and my whole career has been downhill since the first day. Oh, but it's, oh but, it has not. Oh, thank you, Tuesday. You are so wonderful. <laughs> but thanks for the question. Thank you. No, that's kind of weird because they shot like the middle of the movie and the beginning and parts of the end all on the same day. Yeah. yeah. Our first ever. Cinema. Yes. We have those because we're such great actors. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is for everybody. Um, any thoughts on or stories you'd like to share about working with Rennie Harlan? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> he was on the side. I love it. He actually, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, real quick. Bring up Rennie Harlan. Uh, I do a radio show. Tuesday's been on it, and I would be remiss if I didn't ask Tuesday to do her Rennie Harlan impression. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Tuesday. Oh my gosh, this is too big. Your outfit needs to be smaller up the bottom. Your buttocks. I want your buttocks to show more. You need to show your buttocks. <laughs> He was fun. He was a fun guy. He was really young then. That was like his first movie, I believe. Or one of the. He didn't know. He didn't know him prior to that. Prison. Yeah, prison. Yeah. Prison. Yeah. Okay. Which you so, see? First U.S. First real U.S. film, right? Yeah. yeah. You're right. So it was, it was actually a big deal. It was, and he was a uh, yeah, asshole. He, no, 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 no. I mean, really nice guy. Sorry. Shame on you. Oh, Why? Yeah. He was mean to me. He what? Was, what? Was, you were sleeping with him. An asshole, but he was mean to me. I'm just but not. anyway, with the prison, if you look at the, the truth comes out. The, <laughs> but the, the scene that 
the theater, and it's the exterior of the theater, which was an old uh, theater in Pasadena. Yeah, Pasadena. The Rialto. The Rialto. Oh, yeah, the Rialto. Rialto. Wow. So there, but when you look at the bil little billboards, the posters that are you know decorating when you walk into the theater, one of the posters is prison. Yeah. Uh, it is. So you should check out those the little posters that are there. Oh, it is. That's, there's a connection yeah. from the writers or something. I, yeah, they're you know they were put there. <laughs> Was oh, yeah. And I'm yeah, sorry for the really profanity. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rennie didn't even have a, he didn't even have a Sorry, Brooke's talking. Sleeping. Someone's couch. You were sleeping on somebody's couch. He was sleeping right? on Andy Adams, the PA's couch. Okay. That's right. Yeah, he didn't even have a place. He was sleeping on someone's couch. Andy Adams, remember that name. He's a guy on the rise. <laughs> Suspenders? Remember the suspenders? Right. And the, yeah, the jeans and the striped shirt? Yeah, the striped shirt. And the hat? And hat. I was, yeah, sort of I was like Tony Rudolph in one of those 1980s <laughs> <laughs> solo videos. But by, the end of, by, by the time Ford <laughs> came out, he was wearing no more baseball cap. He had a studded leather jacket. And shortly after, he bought a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that this was after Die Hard. Wasn't yeah, it? Die Hard, hear of it? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yay, Randy. Yay, Randy. Next story. I feel like I, uh, I've only ever been in three horror movies, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and 4, and then in the remake of I Spit on Your Grave. And I feel like uh, in, that, in the, first, uh, the first remake, because I guess they made a sequel to, uh, to the remake, I didn't yeah. see it. But Sarah in that, that uh, she is uh, so good. She's and awesome. and uh, I got to be killed in such an amazing way. <laughs> like I feel so honored to like, I feel like she's a, I feel like as time goes on, people will, more people will see that film for what it is. It's a great little movie. It's really well done, and and I I'm bummed that Anchor Bay didn't push it more. And uh, and I but I think it's going to grow in cult status like the original did. And uh, Sarah, I'm just basing on her last name. I feel Butler, so bad. Butler. Sarah Butler is so amazing in that, and to be killed by her was like such an honor and such a and such a move towards like. Feminism and, and like yeah. equal rights in film, you know. So I've been I feel like I've been killed by like the greatest like male slasher ever and like the greatest female slasher ever. Like done. I, I, I think I'd like to go after Annabelle from The Conjuring. Oh, you'd yeah. like to go after her? Oh yeah. yeah. Survivor. Uh -huh. I am the Tiger Baby. <laughs> I'm not picking anyone because horror films scare the crap out of me. Still. Yeah. <laughs> So if I'm home by myself and no one's in the house and I hear something like banging in the kitchen, I'm not putting on a horror film. I'm gonna, just, so I'm gonna play. The, I'm gonna plead the fifth. Oh, I can jump out of planes and do all that, but horror films are scary. I'm serious. Well, for me, it depends on the check.
Overall, what is your guys' feeling on being the most successful entry in the franchise? Well, it's clearly because of the acting. <laughs> <laughs> Me. I, I think it's because I'm script. in it. Oh, sorry. Go, yes. yeah, go down the line. Go for it. Go for it, Dan. Go for it, go for it Dan. Because it used to be because of Dan, yes. Yeah, because I'm in the movie. That's what made it. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, it's rock star status. It's like being like on. I don't know. I, it's that's what it is. Rock star status because everybody knows that movie and and we all get to go through an experience that only for us not the. But it's like being I don't know. I guess the the experience of going through that we only got to do it us these people right here and then obviously the audience but. So we kind of immortalized ourselves, and you know, in film. I hate to say it like that, but I mean, it kind of did. So now, and you can be anywhere, and you go, "Hey, you know Freddy Krueger, right?" And they're like, "Of course." And then you tell them, and they kind of, you know, so that's pretty cool. As Dan and I were saying on the plane ride, we were saying it's kind of like being the drummer and bass player at the party. <laughs> <laughs> People are mostly interested in the girls, but occasionally we get invited to the gig. We thought you guys were guys. <laughs> right now, we're a big deal. Like when you guys were announcing the names, we were like, did they forget us? Yeah. <laughs> Botch his last name, Ryan Hegeland. Hegeland? Am I saying that right? Hegeland. Anyway, he apparently he wrote, I believe, the first uh, Friday the 13th script, and then he went on to write things like L.A. Confidential oh. and uh, Tales of the Crypt, all kinds of amazing 42. films. Directed 42. Direct, so I really feel the script too was really pretty magnificent and had some fantastic character arcs, and 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 two, I think the chemistry of us all together because we are actually all honestly really friends time. like yeah. we're friends uh, we, we she, all she together she moved back to New York after 10 years we. and lived with me for like a year <laughs> yeah you know, Brooke and I we go bowling and uh, with our kids <laughs> and we chat and you know they and had a Tuesday night right we did a jewelry business for like nine years yeah. together yeah. and Rodney and sleeps on my couch when he comes to New York <laughs> 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 it's like we really have and there was really a genuine chemistry that somehow we were brought together and cast together. And you, can't, so you can't buy that. You can't buy that. You can't create that. You can't Because usually when you do gigs, you never see that person ever again. You're like, oh yeah, we'll do lunch. And I think, I think what's good about that, or you know, some people aren't fortunate enough to be in something like this where you actually can develop friendships with each other. If you want and to. I, yeah. <laughs> even, even if, you know, people didn't really want to. Yeah, exactly. And I, oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. I think uh, not. I, I feel like I'm giving like the biggest jerk answers of anyone on, up at the table. But I think that you can't discount. I just think I don't think you can discount the power of Nightmare on Elm Street One and Nightmare on Elm Street Three. Of course. And and.